Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon from Salat here in Bangladesh. We're kind of up the very north east of the country uh, and it's still very hot but we uh, have just arrived uh, caught a plane up here and we're gonna go and head down to the main city center it's around like five to six kilometers away we're staying at the Grand Select Hotel um, it was around $90 a night I think just splitting a, uh, a twin room with my good friend Nadir on the go so we're gonna get a CNG Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Come on, Archer. We're going to head out to uh, the main center of town and explore that area and see what there is to offer. But it seems like plenty of CNGs around here that we can catch down into the city center. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> well, let's chat to this guy. Go straight to the market, maybe? Yeah, I think so. This guy here knows the spot, sticking outside of the five-star hotels. Oh, there's some up there. How much is it? 300, I mean. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. It's like six, five, six kilometers, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. That's a fair price. We paid the same for it. Yeah, we paid. We're coming from the airport, like 500 meters away. Yeah. So this is our kind of first look at the town of Salet. Well, actually, this is just the street outside of our hotel, but it seems like there's a fair, fair bit going on. People chilling. We've got a couple of uh, small little shops here. Yes, it is very rural. The first thing I noticed getting into this CNG here is that they don't have like the roll cages. They don't have the cage in bit like they do in Dhaka. So I guess that's only a Dhaka thing because of all like the thieves um, that kind of grab your stuff on the street. But the good thing is that you can hang out the window like this. You get the fresh breeze. There's even the man selling sugarcane juice along the road. So I think sugarcane was the thing that got me sick in Old Dhaka because it was all soaked in the uh, in the water, in the local water. So either that or the lassie was the one that actually, wow, somebody's just sleeping there. One of those two items or maybe the shawarma that I had in New Market got me sick. So we're gonna have to take it easy on the uh, food over the next couple of days, just until my stomach readjusts and uh, is less queasy. But it's just so beautiful. So much greenery. I think there's like tea gardens there. Salette is known for its tea gardens and being a major producer of tea in Bangladesh. And uh, it's kind of like Sri Lanka tea gardens right there. So they'll just grow throughout the year and then people will come and cut all the tea leaves off and then uh, produce them through all the factories and the processes that it needs to go through. But yeah, look, it's just all just tea gardens. Just tons and tons of tea. I think that's tea, right? Wow. And I've been seeing like a lot of women carrying all these sticks on their heads. Just bags full of just like shrubs and sticks. I don't think it's actually tea. It seems like just sticks. But there's a lady. Is it just dried wood like yeah. for fires? Yeah. Wow, look at that lady. But they're all just carrying it. Oh. That's tea. Oh, that's tea. Yeah. But the stick one, that's just kind of like... <laughs> but wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, true, because they speak a different dialect. dialect yeah. Wow. It's just so pretty. Oh, look, study in Australia. Bit of advertising 
for people studying in Australia, but I think we're hitting a, maybe the major part of town or a part where it's a lot more businessy, a lot more business orientated and people selling various goods. But yeah, coming in for like two kilometers there, it was just all tea gardens, which was just so beautiful. I haven't been in like a big tea garden area since I was in Sri Lanka about a year ago. So, uh, it's nice to see. Wow, look at this. They even have the double-decker buses up here in Select. Going through the streets, transporting the people to their destination. But it's getting pretty busy out here. Whenever you stick your head out of a window in a tuk-tuk, you always gotta look behind you. Just make sure a big truck or a big bus isn't coming to clock your head off. It's happened a few times on trains where I've nearly been chopped off by a pole. I should probably have learned my lesson by now. But it's just too much fun sticking your head out of a window. Getting the fresh breeze on your head, on your face. Getting the cool air. Just like that, you gotta be careful. <laughs> and here we have it, everybody. We may not be in Dhaka, but we've reached traffic here in Bangladesh. So it must be a nationwide thing of, uh, of traffic everywhere. <laughs> but just on the right here, we've got some guy selling different kinds of snacks. Just on a little cart there, make it portable, go around. That guy's wearing a cricket jersey. It honestly surprised me how hot it is up here in Salette. I thought it'd be far cooler. But it's still just as hot as darker is. Wow, all right, so this seems to be like the major intersection that was causing all the, the chaos. And it's, you can see why it's got like four points of contact and everyone's cutting each other off. Pedestrians are walking through and there's no traffic police at all. This guy, he just he just puts his hand out. He's like, that's the only way to cross the streets here. You just put your hand out. It's called the stiff arm in yeah. American football. <laughs> stiff arm the tuk-tuk. But uh, this city's a lot crazier than I was expecting. I thought it would be like low-key chill areas, but it's, once you're in downtown, it's, Hectic. It's like a side street of Bangladesh, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Unless this is like a traffic signal, like if it's just yeah. like congestion, like then there's no point. Well, let's hop out quickly. We're just seeing if it's like a traffic light or if it's controlled just to see if it's better to walk because we're only like five minutes away from where we need to be. But yeah, it's just another one of those intersections that's just so busy. I think I see motorbikes moving, so I think maybe uh, we're gonna start going shortly. Salam alaikum. Come on, Archer. Why is Silati the Kamon Asan Kamon Asan Kamon Asan Kamon Asan Kamon Asan Kamon Asan yeah, I was like, I was like asking, how do you say Kevin Oxford in the Muslim dialect? It's like a little bit different. Um, so will people like understand uh, Bengali? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, let's just fight a five minute walk. Yeah. Alright guys, traffic is not moving at all. Look at this. You can just stand in the middle of the road and no one's gonna hit you. So we're getting out and walking. 
But yeah, these kind of major intersections are just an absolute recipe for traffic. Especially when you've got these big trucks and buses and ambulances and motorbikes and CNGs and bicycle rickshaws and little trucks and vans and everything. So we're just going to walk it. It'll be like another five minutes and uh, then we'll get to the market and kind of the downtown area by the water. <laughs> oh, you just got to uh, start walking. You, you just, you ran out there. <laughs> what are they saying? Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, we're walking downtown. Getting into the hustle and bustle of things. It's getting a lot more busy. More shops are popping up. We got the malls. Nadir's getting recognized. I'm getting recognized. We're meeting some people that watch the videos. Um, got all kinds of samosas. Any cheese prathas in there? I don't think so. But it seems like we're really in the hustle and bustle of everything. Plenty of shops around. All these really beautiful paintings, pictures. So this is a market. So it's China is like everywhere, all these shops and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty hectic down here. It's no, I was not expecting it to be this busy. But uh, yeah, we're gonna explore around, see what we can buy, see what we can eat, and uh, explore the whole area. So I guess you can really just go any direction you want. Go down that way, go down that way, go down this way. All kinds of things. Flip-flops, thongs, heels, sandals. For the first time ever, everybody, I'm not getting hassled by the balloon people. Can you believe this? There's the most foreign person wearing a Bangladesh cricket t-shirt. And she's going after Nadir. And everyone's going after Nadir. Everybody wants Nadir. Oh, look at this. He's honestly like the king of Bangladesh. Everybody knows him. It's crazy walking down the streets. Everybody wants selfies. It's uh, quite remarkable. I've never seen such a thing. Assalamu alaikum. Oh my goodness. I can't I can't believe I'm not the one getting hassled. I'm from Australia. Australia. Ah. <laughs> You're from? I'm from Bangladesh. Very good. From Salat? Yeah, yeah. And I like Australia. Oh. Australia cricket team. Yeah, you like, who is your favorite player? Maybe David Warner. Oh, he's very good. Yeah. What about Al Hassan? Al Hassan, he's our. Yeah, he's, he's number one? Yeah, our proud. <laughs> You're <are> proud. <laughs> I can't believe she's. <laughs> you, you like Al Hassan? Yeah, he's very good. Yeah, you also wear Bangladesh It's like... Sorry. She's like, she's not gonna leave me because she's walked so far. Yeah. Yeah, they to look at Or we just run. <laughs> yeah. Take. Now go, go, go. One more second. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe she was like, she was attached to you. I think that was walking towards the other market. Yeah, dude, that was a crazy part of town. There was so much going on. Yeah, that was like a center. What are you yeah. saying? I kind of wanted, you know, like new market, like places you could go in, but I didn't see that. Yeah. Where do we even stop? There's the other market, like this, like not too far from here. Okay. Yeah. Look at all these big megaphones. They use these for like, the call for prayer, right? Outside of the mosques. They're huge. Alright guys, so we met a lot of uh, Nadir's fans and a lot of my friends, so we got everybody up behind us. Uh, not funny. Assalamu alaikum. All our fans. Fans. 
Thank you for subscribing and liking and sharing, following, commenting. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your support, fans. <laughs> Yeah, you just gotta keep walking. Or else you get staunched by the balloon people. Wow. Like, there's really not much you can do about it. You just gotta keep walking and you just have to ignore them. eye contact last time. Yeah, exactly. Alright, guys, it's so hot outside, but we finally found kind of an inside market area so it's just off the main street but we're gonna go on a, oh look at this alleys and alleys so this is exactly where we want to be under undercover hello brother oh how much what are you selling oh he's selling dresses very nice this kind of just seems like the fabric area all different like kind of textiles and shorts right yeah there. yeah maybe? oh that looks like down here yeah i think maybe that assalamu alaikum ah here we go this is a little bit more to my liking we've got backpacks leather goods jeans bags assalamu alaikum come on hello achi good Tomanamki? Abdullah Vij. Very good to meet you. What are you selling here? Oh, you have like collared shirts. Yes, yes. Haribo, Haribo. Huh? Hmm? Are you eating? Hey. Very good. It's really all kind of the same shops. Yeah. Just textile and suitcases and bags. Maybe that's what this region is. Known. Yeah. I'm not sure. And that's why Bangladesh is kind of known for its textiles. Yeah, yeah it's made, it's known for textiles, right? Yeah, yeah I think like... still want more, a little bit more variety in, yeah. <laughs> in the market. But they are like beautiful kind of uh, fabrics and stuff here. It's so gorgeous. Assalamu alaikum. Little kids clothes. Hello. Luke's thinking of buying one of these. Come on, Asha. <laughs> Australia. My country. My country. Bangladesh. From uh, Sil uh, yeah. This is your shop? Very nice. Very nice shop you have. We've got some people selling ginger, fresh fruit and veg. And then we're back out on the road. Assalamu alaikum. All right. It's a lot crazier than I was expecting, Salat. Hello. 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 Uh, Aust Australia. Australia. Ah. You want to show me your shop? These are dates, right? Date? Smith. Smith can date. Huh? Smith can date. Yeah, Warner Smith. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Bangladesh is Al Hassan uh, country. <laughs> Number one in the world. So these are dates. They got all kinds of things. Everyone's really friendly here though. All kinds of fruits. Thank you for showing me your dates. Oi. You almost got hit. These guys are getting pushed up into the, the market here. Oh wow, this is like a full street of just shops on the, each side. Got little kids toys, jewelry. This is the Valentine's Day shop. Got cuddly teddy bears, happy birthday. That'd actually be a cool gift for somebody that's got a birthday coming up. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. He wants us to have tea. Ah, yeah, let's have some quick tea. With milk, right? Or like, huh? With milk? Tea with milk? Yeah, with milk, please. Thank you. Don't about it. 
Which channel, boy? Is this the right way? Yes, this way. Well, I can't read any of this. This is his card? Yeah. Very good. What's your name? Tomanamki? Noruddin. Noruddin. Ah. Noruddin. Very good. But he was friendly enough to uh, invite us in. Yeah, for... he's saying you can't read Bangla. No, I can, I can read every bit. <laughs> no. He's selling scooters, jewelry, and all the uh, hygiene products. But he invited us in for a cup of tea, so it's good to get a quick little break and have a quick sip. It is so hot outside, so it's nice being in like kind of like a chill area and not having to uh, worry about the craziness because the streets a lot crazier than I was expecting like ah oh, oh, very good just turn the fan on oh. Don't know by. all right here we go oh that is super hot as you can see nice little milk char cheers mmm smells delicious Yeah, it's really hot. Yeah, it's very hot. <laughs> very sugary. <laughs> it, it's really sugary. It's really Is nice. this tea from Salat? From Salat? Oh. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, like, because... We're in the tea production capital of Bangladesh and we're having some tea. Oh, it's so hot. It's really hot, yeah. <laughs> My fingers are literally burning. <laughs> but, yeah, it's really delicious. So it's like... Camonacho and Sileti is like Kita Kobur. Like, sounds very different, right? It's like, what's the news? Is like, that's how they say it. Ah. Alright, we're getting through the tea. Only a little bit left. It's kind of cooled down a bit, so it's a lot easier to drink. But it is tasty. Lots of sugar, obviously, involved in the cooking process. That's why it tastes so good. Mm. Alright, let's get this last little bit here. There we go. Yum. Great little drink to have throughout the day. Very good. Hold the chop. No, 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 no. No, no, you take. No, 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 no. No, you take, please. No, 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 no. They're, they're not going to take money. <laughs> okay. Donovan, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Donovan, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. Building. Australia, Sydney, Sydney. Sydney, oh, good place. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lombare. Malamala face, the Indian, no, 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 Creating keys. It's remarkable, they're everywhere. I thought they were all shoe cleaners, but they're lockmen, locksmith. Move out of the way. Move out of the way. We got some cows roaming the street there. Enjoying their little walk down in Select Main Bazaar. But we are on our way with our new friend. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Toma Namki. Muhammad Ilumia. So he was uh, showing the deer where the bathroom is, and now he's just joining us for the ride. We're just walking down. I think we're going down to the main uh, kind of river area, and that's where a really famous clock is. So uh, he's kind of just like joining us, showing us where to go, and uh, he's pretty friendly. But once you're out of the sun here, it's so much cooler. Like when you're. I have some already. Ah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. 
but uh, once you're out of the sun, the heat just does not affect you at all. It's really like pleasant being in the shade. Very nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> but uh, yeah, people are friendly here. They're respectful. They're good to have a chat with. Exciting, energetic. But let's uh, walk on down to the river and we'll see if we can hop on a boat cruise or see what's down there to enjoy it. Yep. Okay. Uh, so nice. Thank you very much. Okay. What is your name? I'm Tom Renal. Anamke? I'm Renal. Renal? Renal. Renal. Nice to meet you, Renal. Thank you. I better get off the road. Okay. I'm kind of in the middle of it. <laughs> so this is kind of the entrance. Oh, he was just, he just snot rocketed almost on my shoe. Uh, but this is the entrance actually to the famous clock. I think Ali Amjad is the name. But all around they have people selling. Look at this guy jumping. He's training for the triple jump in the Olympics. Selling all kinds of shirts. But look at the traffic on this bridge here. It is just crazy. Only tuk-tuks and motorbikes are allowed here. All right, so here it is, everybody. Ali Amjad's clock. It looks like a farm clock, kind of. Like this kind of red tin is used on a lot of like barns in Australia in the farmland, but it's really beautiful. It's got like this gated area. There's a couple of people actually sleeping on the other side. But let's see if the time is accurate. Currently it says it's 3.08. And yeah, it's actually very accurate. 307, almost 308 on there. So uh, it's accurate, but the river is just over on the other side. Wow. Oh my God, it's actually really big. But look at that, people fishing out there, people just chilling and congregating by the lake. There's even some ladies over there actually doing some washing in the lake. But this one looks a lot cleaner than the one in Dhaka. The Dhaka one, uh, in the old Dhaka, it was like literally black. At least this one, you can kind of see the bottom on the edges, it's just kind of green. But there's a lot of like pollution and there's a guy doing his washing down there. But this is the main bridge that connects the two sides together. But only tuk-tuks, motorbikes. Well, CNGs, I should say, and pedestrians are actually allowed on there just because it is too small to let any trucks or cars in. It's just, oh, my bad. There's a car right there. So maybe, how do they get past? If a car and a car was coming both ways, then there's got to be a traffic jam there. Anyways, let's find the deer. He may think I'm lost. I'll go find him quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well done. What's, what song is it? Do you know? Is it like a Bengali song? It's definitely a Bengali song. Yeah. Very good. How much do you want for your performance? I don't know. Taka? One pound. One pound. They don't understand dollars over here. They speak in pounds because. Most four four pounds. Four pounds. Two pounds. Wow. Dean Shaw. Dean Shaw. Dean Shaw. I'll see. I'll see what I have in my pocket. Okay, who gets it? Okay. You share, you share. share. Between, between you. 
How much did you give them? 500. <laughs> They're happy. Very happy. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> All right, that was worth the 500 taco. Nice performance here by the river. Compared to Dhaka here in Salet, like I've noticed the um, kind of like the beggars and the people that are selling the goods, like balloons and stuff, they're a lot more persistent. You know, we had those kids following us for a while and they sung to us and they gave them 500 before. We had the balloon people um, chasing after the deer. And uh, thankfully, we got my man here. He's able to wave them off for us, but a lot of people are just like coming and asking us for money, like this lady. So um, it's a lot compared to, to Dhaka. I didn't really have it in Dhaka. Like, you know, in the traffic you have it a fair bit, but you got the caged kind of tuk-tuk, so you don't feel as kind of uh, vulnerable. But this lady's like very uh, persistent in getting money. No, not one. One more now. No, no, no. no. Bye, bye. Hey. I was saying, like, this was literally 30 seconds after I. He's crazy. Bye, 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 bye. Hey, 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 hey. hey let go, let go. It's grabbing my leg. I've never had anybody do that to me. <laughs> I know there's success rate for that. Yeah. No, 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 no. Um, but I was saying, like, <laughs> this is 30 seconds after I posted the or filmed the last clip. Bye bye, come on. Jala, jala, jala. Look both ways, make sure there's no traffic about to hit you. There we go. Cross the road successfully. Ultrasound height and weight machine. This is yours? No, no. No, no. Who, do I have to pay somebody to use this? Assalamu alaikum. Like measures your height and weight. Is it somebody? Like I have to pay somebody to use it? It's so it's so random. Oh yeah. Up. <laughs> Off. Ah. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. Oh, look at this. Maybe they have some cheese parathas. Assalamu alaikum. Look at this guy, he's rolling all the, the dough, getting it into the position for him to cook it all up. <laughs> You're a professional. Do you, do you make cheese paratha? Cheese paratha? Cheese paratha. Cheese paratha, you know? <laughs> Cheese paratha number one. <laughs> English. Oh. My name is Aigo. Oh. <laughs> oh, people seem to know what cheese paratha here in uh, in Salet. Imagine you're walking along the sidewalk and you're kind of on your phone, distracted, going through TikTok, and you fall into the hole. <laughs> Big, big hole, just chilling right there. Looks like they're fixing all the pipes and stuff. But it's funny to see that that's like so open and in Australia, if someone was to fall in that, they'd milk it and they'd sue the government for millions of dollars. Even though if you're stupid enough to fall into the hole, you deserve to not get paid a penny. But unfortunately, it's the way it works. But here, things are different as they are in every country in the world. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, we gotta cross. We gotta cross? Yeah. I think we just gotta like, a bit. Wow, wow, wow. Go, go, go. Wow, this is a crazy crossing. Crazy, crazy crossing. We've kind of gone down. I feel the back streets just to avoid traffic. It's a lot less uh, busy here and it's a pretty chill street. A few buildings, maybe they're like family homes or shops, but it's chill going down these areas. All kinds of mechanic shops and 
little bicycle rickshaws. <laughs> Hello. Wow, all right. It is still a little bit busy. Assalamu alaikum. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? I'm good. What is your name? Uh, my name is Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali? Yes, I'm from Bangladesh, uh, in Silet. Oh, so Silet is your hometown? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, Motherland is Silet. Ah. Motherland, yes. I'm, I brought oh, this watch area. Out. What are you doing now? Nothing, just. Just chilling? No, 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 no. I'm, uh, I'm a work, work uh, ah, you're, agency. You're working? Yeah, yeah. Very good. How are you? Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's beautiful. Okay. Sula is an amazing city. Oh, really? Yeah, I like it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, for sure, uh, YouTube name? Uh, Luke. Luke Demant. Luke? L-U-K-E. Demant. Just wait now, I subscribe in Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Ooh. Yeah. Mashallah, great. Mashallah. Uh, please, if you don't mind, I get you one selfie. Yeah, yeah, of course. Pardon I? Really? Okay. I'm so nice happy. Nice to meet Inshallah. you. Nice to meet you. Thank yes. you so much. Have a great day. He was really kind. But a bird just shit on my arm. <laughs> it's your lucky day. Oh, God. It's like, oh, stop it. So it's poured on? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's Nadir's lucky day, everybody. This was a sign that I saw at the very beginning of the video when we we're in the tuk tuk that I mentioned. So you got study in UK, study in Canada, and study in Australia. The Yes Academy. All right, guys, the reason that we've been walking for the past 20 minutes is to enter the most famous, oh, we almost just got run over, the most famous restaurant here in Salet, which is called Hanshbai. So this is the whole area. It's so busy. Everybody comes in here to uh, have their food and it has thousands and thousands of five-star reviews. And it's absolutely crazy in here. <laughs> so we're going to go in, try out some of the food and uh, see if it lives up to the expectations that the Google reviews said it did. And this. Tamanamki. Abdulil. Abdulil. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Have you eaten at uh, Panch Bai before? Mm. It's good? Good. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. <laughs> Cricket Australia. Australia. <laughs> I'm Australian. Australia, Australia. Ah, very good. Australia. Where are you from? Sydney. Sydney. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Mohammed Ripon. Thank you. What's your name? Luke. 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 You, you, you love Australian cricket? Yeah, I'm Australian, so we love Australian cricket. Yeah, yeah, I love Australia. Who's your favorite player? Uh, David Warner, Smith, oh. and uh, Anderson, and uh, Watson. Yeah, Watson. Watson is very smart, yeah. He's very good. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Have a great day. <laughs> All right. Second floor? Yeah. Wow, it's so busy. All right. Oh my goodness. It is absolutely packed in here. And that's how you know it's really good food when all the locals are coming here and eating. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. It is so busy. Wow. So many people are eating here. Look at all the rice that they have. Reserved. Salam alaikum. Are we gonna get a table? I think we have to wait, is what he's saying basically. Yeah. We're gonna have to wait. I think he, he has a spot. Alright. So we have a, a row over there that we can eat at. 
इंजन सामान लगवाए क्या ना लोका से मामा I think it's better if we sit near the window, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. let's just go stand there. I feel like. Man, this place is like famous, famous. It's like packed. Yeah. This is more people than I expected. Yeah, sure. I was not expecting this. Oh, are these guys done? You finished? You are welcome. Thank you. The food, the food is good. Okay. All right, we're getting it all cleaned up. All the food cleaned off the table. Yeah, yeah, I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. But uh, we got a pretty good seat here, right by the window. But they've got such a big parking area. It was like even crazy just getting into the like into the area. The cars are pulling in. There's a security, two security guards just managing traffic. Well, there's all the cars. They come in and they don't know where to park. But look, the guy's trying to reverse, and the motorbike's about to get run over. Oh my goodness! It's crazy. It's crazy. It's how many people are here. How many people are working here? We all the people in the red and the pink shirts just running around with food cleaning up the tables, bringing food out, taking away food, just running around, trying to find seats for people. Um, it's, it's like literally, there's got to be like 20 servers. Assalamu alaikum. All right, we're getting plates. Do we, do we get like a menu or? Yeah, I'm sure. I go past the menu at least. How are you guys doing? Very good. Where are you from? Australia. Australia. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of UK people here, right? Yeah, that is, yeah. So you live here or you live in the UK? I live in the UK. So how long are you in Select for? Two weeks. In Select, particularly in Select, I'm going to be here for a day. Oh. I think that's enough. And then you go where? I live in the village. Ah. So that's why I come to the Nice. And what, what part of England are you from? Uh -huh. Yeah, of course. Pe peaky, peaky blinders. <laughs> Which part of Australia are you from? Sydney. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we just sat down and we've kind of just been given all this stuff. So there's all kinds of different like dips, sauces, vegetables, or a mixture of everything. And there's a big batch of rice. So is it just one thing that I... I guess there's no menu. Yeah. Since we've been shaking so many people's hands today. Or even if you're not doing that, you always should wash your hands before you have a, uh, a meal here. So. It's getting nice and clean. You don't want to drop the soap, which is like I did. It's like mashed tomatoes, it's like mashed dal. It's like a dal shak. Dal shak. Lal shak. Okay, so like red spinach. Mm. This is like fish. Uh, that's also fish. Fish balls. Fish balls. Pickles. Pickles. Pickles, yes. Bean, like smashed ah, beans. beans. Wow. And you just mix it all with rice, dude. Yeah. Enjoy your food. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. The first British person we've met in Celeb. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Only a little. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm still recovering from food poisoning, everybody. So, um, I'm gonna have to take this easy. Not, uh, Stomach is still a little bit queasy. Alright bro, you're gonna have to know gonna put the camera. You're, you're gonna have to teach me how to eat this. <laughs> I don't know. I guess take a bit of everything. Yeah. 
So we're saying that was fish, and that's fish? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna stay away from those, so I'm not the biggest fan of fish. I hate fish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is like tomatoes? Like don't know about it. Yeah. Like, meat, I don't know. Sand. In this Sure. As long as it's not fish. So you kind of just like get a bit of everything, dude. I mean, that's what I'm doing. I already forgot what. What is this? Uh, eggplant, like eggplant. Uh, fried eggplant. Fried eggplant. Wow. All right, guys. This is the selection that we have. It's, it reminds me, honestly, of like a tali that I've had in like place like India, where you have like the rice in the middle and you have the different kind of dips all around. But you kind of just gotta get your hands in there. Again, I'll reiterate. I am recovering from food poisoning. So I'm not gonna eat uh, as much of this as I would usually like, but kind of like you kind of like mix it all in together, right? Just like this, get a nice blend of everything, and then try it out. So let's try some here. Wow! Oh, that's pretty spicy. That's really spicy. <laughs> Oh wow. I need pony. <laughs> so I guess that is spicy for me. Oh that's spicy for me. Let's see how it is for me. And, uh, he just gave us this like special item. The one thing my doctor told me when I was at a hospital in Dhaka was I can't eat spicy foods for the next little while. And that one was really spicy, so let's move on to the next bit. There's kind of just like blocks of, of something here, I'm not sure. What's this in there, do you know? Oh, is that fish? Fish. 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 fish? Ah, yeah, lucky I asked you because I was about to put it in my mouth. <laughs> Nobody likes fish, do they? Alright, I think that's the same one. This one's a tomato, so let's get a bit of this. Usually the tomato based ones are like really spicy. So, ah, don't know about thank you. Oh, okay, thank you very much. Alright, let's try the tomato one. Oh, the tomato one's really nice. That's a really nice texture, nice flavor. That's really good. Oh, thank you. That one is really good. I really like that. Got a little bit of a spicy kick, so it's perfect to uh, have a little bit of water. But that one's actually really nice. The fried eggplant here, super crispy, just how I like my cheese parathas all that fried food and it's super hot but it must be like some kind of like batter on the top so this is super hot but let's just get a quick quick bite of this oh my god so hot that's delicious that's really good the fried crispy edge here how hot is it? <laughs> That's really nice though. Alright, so we tried the tomato. Let's get some of this 
purpley spinach cabbage mixture in there. Get it all together like that. Mm. Yeah, that one tastes like spinach. That one's really nice. I haven't eaten with my hands in so long. This year I can't even remember. But uh, let's try the eggplant again. I think this is my favorite so far. It's really good. Wow. That is really good. I really like this one. Nice and crispy on the outside and then kind of that soft eggplant in the middle, but it's still so hot. <laughs> Alright, let's try the next one. So we have the cabbage spinach mixture. Then we got kind of this like mashed vegetable conjunction. So let's get a little bit in there, mix it all up, and then we'll try some of it out. spicy yet thankfully but oh my god I jinxed it I jinxed it everybody that one is very spicy oh my goodness what's this one bro is that kind of mixed vegetables or I can't remember there's something like a dal Maybe that's it. Does it taste like dal? Yeah. Because there's like a dal, uh, smashed dal thing. Oh, okay, it okay. Might be that one then. Yeah, it's kind of like got vegetables and I think dal in the middle, but let's try it. A little bit out. It has a very pungent vegetable taste to it. My favorite out of them, probably the tomato. But out of everything here, like the eggplant is just absolutely delicious. I love fried stuff. Anything with a crispy edge, a crispy batter, get that in my belly. Like this is so good. The nice crispy crunch. And then you hit the soft bit. It's really good. Guys. When I was in hospital like two days ago, my doctor specifically told me not to eat spicy food. And I can already feel my stomach not being happy with me. So um, I tried everything, but I'm not gonna eat that much. Uh, I, just, I just really don't wanna be sick again. The last two days have been food poisoned. It has not been fun. So my favorite out of everything was definitely the eggplant. The crispy batter and the soft bit in the middle made it like absolutely delicious. And then I'd probably say the, the tomato uh, mash or tomato smash and mixing it with rice was really good as well so it's a good experience kind of eating in these uh, areas where the local people eat seeing how everything works seeing how the, the waiters and the waitresses but you know there's not any waitresses they're all just waiters they're all men that are doing the job here uh, how they bring out all the food and just seeing the whole experience and especially since this restaurant is so famous here in Salette I'm glad we visited, um, but I think in the next couple days we may have to visit again where my tummy is a little bit more happier with me. So it's kind of a unique process how you kind of just get food brought out to you and they just keep bringing it out. Like the eggplant stuff, I didn't even know it existed and it just got brought out to us. So I guess we just like kind of get the bill at the end of it and then we just pay and head on out and we'll continue the adventures here in Salem. And just like that, once you're finished, so come and collect everything, clean it all up, and then uh, you go on your merry way. So it's been kind of funny since we had that tea in that shop a couple of hours ago. This guy's he's, he's been with us. My videos, apparently. Oh, really? His kids watch my videos. Ah, so he's, like, yeah, he's a chill guy. Yeah. He keeps saying how his home's gonna be in Australia. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's trying to get a. Uh, a visa into Australia or I'm meant to be helping him but unfortunately I'm not the Prime Minister I don't have access to 
to uh, visas or passports. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It'll be interesting. But um, can we get the bill, please? Bill? Okay. No, thank you. All right, so. 550 only. 550, okay. Can I see? Without 515 to feed three people, so that's around like five US dollars. Very good. I'll make sure I pay before uh, Nadir comes. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, thank you, sir. Have a great day. Sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you. What is your name? Luke. Mafuz. Mafuz. Thank you, sir. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Tomorrow. Tomorrow next. Time. Yeah, we come back, okay? okay. Very nice to meet you. See you guys. What's your channel name? Luke Demant. Luke Demant. Yeah. Okay. Are you from Australia? Yeah. Yeah. Australia. Yeah, man. <laughs> Thank you. Nice man. to meet you guys. Okay. See you. Oh, they have like. Is that like the family area? Yeah, man. It's just like more crowded. Yeah. Oh, look at all the eggplants he's got. They're my favorite ones. Hi. Hello. Oh wow. Where they cook it? This is where they yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh chicken legs, chicken wings, skewers. Oh my goodness. This is where they cook everything. But, oh there's the eggplant. You can see in the background, so it must go in like a bit of the batter or maybe that batter and then deep fried to get that crispy goodness. Wow, look at the tea. We were actually gonna get tea at the very end. They said it's another 30 minutes away. And you can imagine why, because it's gotta boil. Like, what's that? Gotta be like 30 liters of char. Oh, Nadir's in there. Let's uh, get in there and see. I'm allowed in. Assalamu alaikum. Wow. That's like 30 litres. Yeah. And that's why it is a half an hour. They're not making it for us. They're yeah. And what is this used for? And then we have the eggplants. Eggplant. Eggplant. <laughs> Very good. Don't know about it. <laughs> Australian. Bangladeshi. Figure jersey person. Diganta. All right. Goodbye. Are we going? I'm not sure. Anyways, good experience eating at Punch, 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 uh, Punch Brothers, I think. Punch, Punch by? Punch by. Punch by. Punch by. Punch by. Five Brothers. Five Brothers only restaurant. Yeah, very good experience eating here. Alright, guys, what an entertaining past couple of hours downhill in Select Main City. Explored the area, went and got some food, chatted to a lot of friendly people. Um, but we are on our way back home. We're gonna get a, a CNG back to the hotel uh, and then we'll finish up the video. So we are on the hunt. We're kind of in the back streets now. So we're just gonna walk around, get into the main area, and we'll grab a CNG. There's like this really famous actor from Bangladesh who died. Oh. His house is like. Up here, so much. Uh, so I think he wants to show us the house. Like, <laughs> like an actor? Yeah, really famous actor. He's dead now. But he was like pretty big. Back in the day. <laughs> he was like the face of Hollywood, like, really? And then he died young. Is this it? Is this the house? Oh man, I don't know. Like Salman Shah have one, yeah. It literally says his name and then house. <laughs> oh really? So what is his name? Salman Shah. Salman Shah. Salman Shah. Yeah. We got some kids playing cricket here. Neymar Jr. He changed sports. He's moved from football 
Oh! <laughs> he just hit it over the fence. Salaam alaikum. Is your name Blue Food? Yes. I'm your fan. Thank you so much. Can I get a selfie? Yeah, of course. Watch out, you might get hit. You're playing some cricket? Yes. Your name is Blue Food. Yes. 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 Huh? You are a YouTuber? Yes, YouTube. Vlog. <laughs> Alright. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> See you bro. <laughs> Thanks for I, watching the videos. I regularly see your videos. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, we made it to the main road, so it's around evening time and so many kids are playing cricket playing football out on the field and we're kind of back at like the main street area oh, look at these guys they got a full escort Mahamadilu, oh. bud. thank you so much sir thank you so much brother okay you have a great day thanks bud. Here's, here's a kind guy traveling around enjoying the company We've just pulled over so Nadir can get some shots, but this is like the tea plantation, everybody. All these mountains and hills are just filled with tea and kind of like from a kilometer out of the city center all the way to the airport, the whole side for like kilometers, like for four kilometers, there's all just tea gardens, which is what Silet is known for. <laughs> Salaam alaikum. Let's go see what these guys are up to. They're calling me over. But yeah, look, all the tea right here. Salaam alaikum. Let's go through here. Oh, wow. Salaam alaikum. Oh, you have machete. Salaam alaikum. Adab adab. Salaam alaikum. Namaskar, Namaskar. Ah. We are Christian. Oh, you're Christian? Yeah. Christian area? There, there is Hindu. Ah, Hindu. Hindu. So you speak uh, Hindi? Yeah. yeah. Namaskar. Hindi is the one. My name is Hindu. Hindi is the one. Hindi is the one. Tola Tola Hindi? Something, something. Some, some, some. Yeah, yeah. some, some. Chut, chut. <laughs> Where is your country, man? Australia. Australia. Ah. You're from Salat? Yeah, of course. My childhood. Oh, yeah, this is your home. Yeah, you yeah. were you were born here. Yeah, very good. So what are you guys doing now? You're just yeah. you're just chilling. Yeah, very good. So Salette is famous for tea, right? Yeah. Okay. So they wait for it to grow and then uh, is he working in the yeah, of so he will cut yeah. the leaves? Yeah. Wow. And how long does it take to grow? This is on this is on mainly you never know. There is not season there. Ah, not season. Mm -hmm. So you, you're waiting. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. nice. Misty season. <laughs> there are rainy season, so rainy season. Yeah. Ah, and then it grows. <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> Very good. All right, my friend is over there. He is waiting for me. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Okay. 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 <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> they were friendly. Had a quick little uh, chat with them. It's interesting, I said Asalaam Alaikum, which is kind of like the general greeting here just because the majority of people are Muslim. And they, were, they said like, oh no, we're like, we're Christian and Hindu, which is really interesting. Um, that like kind of, that's the first thing that they said. And I, I should have clocked it, but one of the guys at the beginning said Namasha, which is a Hindi uh, greeting. But look at this cow. Chilling. Move out of the way. Bye bye. <laughs> but yeah, these tea gardens are just absolutely gorgeous. Look, it's Greg the goat. No, it's not. 
It's a fake. It's a Greg look-alike. Oh, I'll get it. Oh, actually, I don't have... I don't have change. Running out of change, though. Yeah, I'm gonna get, like I'm gonna get change from the front desk. Thank you, bye. Thank you. Alright, we've arrived back to the Grand Select Hotel and Resort. When I was like looking at places here, I was like, wow, this is definitely the best place. And it does look really good. Nice white building, nice entry area. But uh, I think we're just gonna enjoy the facilities at the hotel for the rest of the evening. Go for a swim at the pool, enjoy the sunset. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Hi. It's been a fun day exploring Salet, so over the next couple of days that we're here, it's gonna be even more fun uh, exploring all the different sites, trying all the amazing foods once my tummy is a little bit better. But we're gonna finish up the video here, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. As always, chase your dreams, and we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>